Hi, welcome to ACS Composite. My name is Joseph, and we're about to introduce our first Tesla Aero component. First off, I wanted to introduce you to ACS Composite. I've been working with ACS Composite for the last 17 years. I'm an automotive designer, and uh, for the last 17 years, ACS has been building parts for different OEMs. They've been involved in projects like the Centennial 4GT, and most recently building a lot of Aero components for Camaros and Corvettes, mainly uh, track parts for, for aero improvements and obviously cosmetic upgrades too. Behind me, I have my personal Model 3. This is my daily driver and really a car that's, that's blown me away. I've done over 50,000 miles with it. I've learned all the quirks. And um, finally, we decided to make some components for it. A little hard to design parts for something as near perfect, aerodynamically speaking, as a Model 3. But we basically went through all the process, did our homework, and uh, we've come up with new components that we'll be introducing in the next year or so. The first one being a rear spoiler. We're all familiar with the performance spoiler that Tesla offers. And basically the goal of that spoiler was to increase range. So you, you'll notice that it's a, a zero drag spoiler. And uh, basically we feel that Tesla did a perfect job with that one. There was no point uh, following that route. But we did feel that the rear looked a little uh, lame or, or, or subdued. So our idea is to go a little more aggressive. We didn't want to generate too much drag, uh, but we did want to generate a little bit of downforce. So what we have here is exactly that. Uh, we, we call it an optimal spoiler, meaning we've kept uh, the philosophy not to in increase drag in the middle, but there's a very tiny subdued couple of percentage uh, wicker on, on either side of the spoiler. So the final effect is something really, I think, aggressive uh, while elegant and really complementing the lines of the car. So today we'll be uh, completing the install of the item. Uh, I did want to also explain uh, the differences of this spoiler and everything else out there. We manufactured the spoiler following all the OEM specs. So again, our, our 17 year experience comes into play. This is a PC composite part that we've uh, injected molded in uh, metal molds. And what you get out of it is a very precise, perfect fitting spoiler and something that will not distort over time. So obviously we're all familiar with what's out there in the aftermarket. There are several spoilers available. Most have been hand laminated. Some are made out of carbon. We have obviously the performance one, which is pre-preg carbon. That is uh, ideal. Uh, again, I think Tesla did a great job with that. It is a pre-preg autoclave carbon part. Uh, quite expensive, I, I think it's in the tune of uh, six to $800. Uh, and then we have the whole family of aftermarket carbon parts, which are really hand laminated parts. So yes, they're using carbon, but they're not curing it at the same level that, um, that Tesla did or, or that a prepreg would have been done. The ACS Tesla spoiler is manufactured in a PC composite. Uh, the reason we use this material is obviously for its heat resistance and also for its fit. So what you can expect once you get the part out of the box is a complete spoiler. This one's been painted gloss black. The two-way tape underneath has been pre-installed with center seams with tabs, so it's easy to pull out. We do supply you a cleaner or a adhesion promoter by 3M and two templates, one for the driver's side, one for the passenger side, so you could center it. Next step will be to turn the car around. We'll prep the surface and walk you through the install and finally take a detailed look of what it looks like on the car. So we have our Model 3, we have our spoiler. We're gonna go through with the install. First step is to have a clean car, so I've pre-washed the vehicle. Um, we are installing the spoiler using 3M adhesive. So basically, the cleanliness of the spoiler with um, no contaminants like waxes or car soap is the most important. So step one is uh, wash the car or wash the area. Step two, I guess, will be to clean it using some uh, alcohol. So usually we keep a solution of 50-50. And basically, this ensures that there's no residues or, or contaminants. So we'll let that evaporate. We do want to pre-fit the spoiler just to make sure we're happy with uh, what we have and uh, the overall look. As a quick visual, we, we see the fit is uh, immaculate. It's a very tight seam everywhere. I haven't positioned it yet in its optimal spot but we do supply you templates for that. For now, I just wanted to get a bit of a visual and uh, I guess get excited about it. What we've done is really enhanced uh, the OEM, if you want to call it spoiler or extension on the deck lid. And as I was saying in the intro, 
We didn't want to do it over aggressive, so we noticed there's like a zero drag area here with very tiny wickers on the side. But the overall effect from the rear is, uh, I think, pretty dramatic and, and, and really rewarding. Next is we're going to be using some paper templates that will be supplied with the spoiler. These reference the quarter panel, or sorry, the quarter deck lid seam and the lower edge of the trunk. And it's basically creating a pocket to where the spoiler is going to sit. So as a reference, we really use the deck lid line as a, a reference or break point. So the rear view of the car really ends and continues that body line through. A couple of pieces of masking tape. I'll be positioning it. And as I was saying, basically the lower edge and a rocker. I'm gonna do another dry fit of the spoiler onto the car. This is really to verify our templates and the positioning. So this ensures that it is centered and that's really where it will go. So now I, I know I'm ready to install the spoiler, but one last step is to use an adhesion promoter, which is also made by 3M. So it complements the adhesive tape. And what this does, it's sort of a catalyst for the tape. So uh, right now it's summer here, so it's pretty warm. But the key elements to have a successful installation using the two-way tape is temperature of the, the part. So this is, is room temp. If you are in a cold area or it's winter months, you do want to heat up the car. Clean surface, no contaminants. That was taken care with uh, the alcohol wipe. And this is the adhesion promoter. So this one really is a catalyst for it. So I, I just want to use everything that's on it. You see it's very moist. There's more than an ample uh, promoter on it. So these are promoter set. I'm going in for the final installation of the spoiler. So I've been positioned. I'm gonna start, I'm applying pressure in the middle because this is really uh, the center point and this is the start of uh, my peeling. So I'm actually gonna favor a rotation just so I could pick up the tape and start the peeling effect. I'm gonna start both sides. I'm obviously helping it because I, I want to be able to pull that red tape and not break it. So I'm actually feeling it, it wants to do that. So now the top is set. I'm gonna be doing the same on the lower portion. I'm turning it counterclockwise in, in my view, just so I could clear and, and get a good peel out of it. Again, I'm gonna start both sides. Because the idea is really to get maximum contact surface between the tape and the spoiler. I'm using my thumb to really slightly lift it because I really don't wanna break this. And I'm not gonna do the driver's side. So again, I'm using my thumb to favor the peeling of the tape. And now that I know all the tape is out, I really want to apply pressure and now squeeze the spoiler on. It doesn't have a lot of play. But we want to get a good contact between the tape and the car. So the install is very straightforward. Uh, again, the key elements are really uh, temperature, surface preparation, and pressure. So 3M tape is pressure activated and heat activated. We've also used the adhesion promoter to help and, and put everything on our side. And finally, we'll, we'll take out all our fingerprints as we admire the new spoiler. <laughs>